I'm Digvijay Singh's latest oops, I did it again moment. He makes a new controversial remark. The Congress distances itself from those remarks. He tweets, thank you, Germany Foreign Min Affairs Ministry, for taking note of how democracy is being compromised in India through persecution of Rahul Gandhi. The BJP slams the remarks. Kiran Rijuju says, thank you, Rahul Gandhi, for inviting foreign powers for interference into India's internal affairs. Now, it's not the first time that Digvijay Singh has been making remarks which have gotten him into trouble. But at a time when the entire issue of what Rahul Gandhi said abroad is something which the BJP is gaining a great deal of political capital on, how wise was it for him to actually play into that? Right? That's something that perhaps we'll need to look at. But joining us now, Vivek Bansal uh, of the Congress Party, Shehzad still with us, and the senior journalist Nirja Chaudhary. Vivek Bansal, is there a sense increasingly within the Congress that Digvijay Singh is becoming a liability, certainly in terms of what he says and when he says it? Uh, well, uh, to this I would not like to comment, but the fact that uh, you are referring probably to his uh, welcoming uh, tweet, I think he overshot and uh, who overshot, he overshot or he got over and I don't know, but it was it is not taken in very uh, very kindly at least at least I can say I can talk about myself that it is not it is not in the fitness of things. No, but do you not accept that this is a setback for your for your party? You have elections coming up in well, Karnataka. Well, well, the BJP well, is capitalizing on Rahul Gandhi's comments for right or for wrong, and yet you play into their political strategy. How wise was that? Definitely, it is not. I, as I said, it is in, in the given circumstances, it's not very appropriate. But to BJP, I think BJP, instead of harping or instead of completely complaining about this, that the better thing would have been BJP should have immediately summoned the German ambassador and have given them the, 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 the peace of their mind that this sort of interference is not to be tolerated. This, this would have been, I think, more appropriate instead of just creating, a, uh, amplifying this thing within the country. That would have been, uh, should have taken the... Uh, she 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 Shehzad, reply specifically, I know you want to talk about the Congress, but reply to that point because it is interesting. We are hypersensitive, some would say, about what others say about our own country and the context. Uh, do you believe that we should have raised this with Germany at all? Or do you believe that there was nothing really critical that the Germans had to say about our affairs? Uh, Vishnu, first of all, uh, I speak for the party and as far as the government's response and particularly the MEA's response to such kinds of statements that calculate or tantamount to interference into our internal affairs will be adequate, appropriate, apt and it will be given at a time of choosing of the government of India. I don't need to discuss government of India strategy on national television. No, I'm, I'm asking past for your view. To, I know you don't uh, represent the affairs, government, sister. you represent the yes, party. Yes. But all I'm trying to say is, for example, and bear with me, this is what the Germans said. To our knowledge, Mr. Gandhi is in a position to appeal the verdict. Uh, it will then become clear whether this verdict will stand and whether the suspension of his mandate has any basis. There's nothing terribly wrong in this. If they're asked a question, they'll give yes. a reply. I'll, I'll, I'll explain to you. Vishnu, first of all, this statement is not a commentary on the government, nor Correct. is it a commentary in a way that I should feel personally aggrieved about, but I feel very terrible about it because it actually runs into contempt against the institution of the judiciary. And this is coming on a day. Let me at least give you two examples. One, Mr. Raj Kamal Jha of the Indian Express, who is uh, regarded as a very, uh, 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 a very important figure, and he will not speak under any pressure, has hailed the judiciary and the Supreme Court and the courts of this country as the North Star, and has said they are free and fair recently in an on a program. And then after that, Chief Justice of India, Chandrachur Ji himself in another channel's program, has said that we are completely independent of any kind of pressures from the executive. I would take these two people more seriously than some person sitting in Germany speaking for whatever vested interest and this is the same Germany or these are the same countries who till date have not had chancellors or precedents from any other community except from the Christian community who take a swear on the uh, Bible not on the oath on the constitution as my country does. 
So I don't need to take these kinds of attacks on the judiciary. Is okay. the judiciary not robust and has it not demonstrated over and over again that it is independent? Point number one. Now, point number two, let me come to a more independent, uh, fundamental fact, uh, which very quickly. Look, this is not the first time Mr. Digvijay Singh, in the words of Vivek Bansal, has overshot. He has said in presence of a Pakistani journalist, 370 will be re-implemented or re-imposed. He has said that surgical strike needs to be given proof of by the Indian Armed Forces. These are the kind of constant statements. And today till yesterday, the Congress was saying, that we are not in support, we have not demanded external intervention into India. But today, the moment there is a kind of attack on the judiciary's independence, they are all cheering for it. And if they are not cheering for it, what action will they take on Digvijay Singh, who is a clear serial offender? And the Congress party too, they supported statement of George Soros, Praveen Chakravarti did, no action taken. Manishankar Ayer went to Pakistan, demanded foreign Pakistani intervention into elections in India, no action taken. Rahul Gandhi with his interview with Nicholas Burns said, US establishment must intervene, no action taken. In the program in UK, before he switched his uh, statement, he had made that kind of statement to the effect that why is US and Europe oblivious? And now that action takes place, which no, means no, but, that but, but there is Shazad, some kind of Shazad, coincidence. One point I disagree or is this some kind of Shazad, conspiracy? One point People I disagree can judge. with you. Uh, in as much as Rahul Gandhi asked in Cambridge, uh, in the United Kingdom, that look, why is it that nobody in the West or nobody in Europe is reacting to, to the situation in India? He also did say <laughs> that look, India's problems have to be resolved within India, right? And that is exactly Very what the Congress. Vishnu, I agree with today. you. Just give me one second. And therefore, if Just others in the party are Vishnu, making I remarks absolutely. like this, then you know they're off the cuff. I mean, they don't. Uh, just give me five sense. seconds, Vishnu. They don't reflect the Congress. Go ahead, Shaita. Vishnu. Just give me. Yeah, just give me five seconds because I know Neerjaji is waiting. Vishnu, let's take your statement on face value that he did indeed say this. That it is an internal problem. I just request NDTV to do one fact check when the original statement was made yes. and when this particular statement, which you are quoting, is true was made. There was a distance of 51 hours after there was a backlash in India, point number one. And I'm not lying on this. Point number two, I can quote to you and I can make you hear the statement given by Rahul Gandhi on an online interview to Nicholas Burns. Point number three, therefore, this is a series of offenses that have taken place. Point number three, if the Congress party's institutional stand is that we do not want foreign intervention, then they should take action on this individual statement. But this is not an individual statement of Digvijay saying it is an institutional approach of Congress I gave you example of uh, Mr. Uh, Praveen Chakravarti. I gave you example of Manishankar Iyer. Two examples of Rahul Gandhi. There is a series of instances where okay. Congress has done this over and over again. Okay, and so therefore you're today, saying it's they must answer you're saying it's why they are celebrating this attack. Yes. In fact, Mr. Bansal, there, it is not fact, only Mr. deliberate. Bansal, I've got it five must, examples it of must how be explained what is the relationship. has gotten your party into trouble in the past. But Nidja, let me come to you oh. next. Uh, Sorry, uh, uh, is this going to cost... Uh, uh, Vivek ji, uh, I'll come to you. I'll come to you after. Nija has been waiting. I'll come to you after. I will come to you after. Uh, Nija, uh, Digvijay Singh's almost permanent foot in the mouth moments uh, hit the Congress at, 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 at terrible times. Now, in the context of what, what they are facing, Karnataka, right? Do you believe that this entire national, Rahul Gandhi being anti national, bringing insult to India from outside, uh, and now Digvijay Singh saying something which sort of in, endorses that, that BJP view? Is that going to hit the Congress? Look, I am um, mystified and baffled by somebody like Digvijay Singh. <laughs> you, can't, you have nobody more senior than him today in the party. Nobody, I think, who understands uh, politics in India, uh, the Congress's history, administrative experience. You know, after Pranam Mukherjee, he and uh, Pranam Mukherjee were the two senior most. So you, you put them in that category. Mm -hmm. For somebody mm -hmm. as politically savvy as Digvijay Singh to make a statement, and I agree with you, what German uh, foreign officers said is just statement of fact. They've taken note of this. So, uh, you know, it brings that ba the issue back center stage about yeah. so-called yeah. foreign interference that Rahul Gandhi talked. I agree with Shahzad that initially he did talk about U.S. and e EU being oblivious of the downslide of democracy in India. He did talk about, you know, the silence of these countries he, and when democracy was being undone. And it was later that he may make the correction. That is true. Whether it was 51 hours, I don't know, but certainly at a third meeting. Uh, so, uh, the, but he has made that clarification. And the Congress party today has also distanced itself from it. But what, as I say, 
how does the Vijay Singh do? <laughs> and why does the Vijay Singh do this? Is a question mark to which I have no answer, which embarrasses his own party, which embarrasses his, the leader of that party. So why is he doing it? Mr. Maybe Bansal, Mr. why, why is it your party taking action against him? Sorry? Why Sorry, is your party not it. taking action against him? Well, the uh, uh, party would be seized with it. I think uh, they would uh, they would be taking note of it. It's not a it's not a trivial matter or trivial matter. Party would be taking note of it and, and uh, acting accordingly. It is not that uh, immediately you have to uh, take an action. Party would definitely there is a system in the party within the party there is a system in a dynamic and uh, they would definitely sit on this and uh, discuss. So the it same system which has not taken any action against him for the five previous instances. He's well, taken a dig at the judiciary. He's linked the Bodh Gaya blast in some way to Narendra Modi. The Batla House encounter was fake. RSS trained bombers. He's made a remark on them, alleged that RSS trains activists in making bombs. He's made sexist remarks as well uh, against a Congress MP from Mansoor. And now he's gone and <laughs> he's gone and thanked the Germans for taking notice of persecution of Rahul Gandhi. I mean. And yet, and and yet, you you'll give me the, you know that that standard argument that we have a structure, we will look at it and we will take action if required. We have a system in place. Well, where is your system? Well, uh, I would not like to say much on that. Whatever I had to say, and uh, my view, my take on this, I I I I said it. I was quite vocal about it, and uh, I would say that. Definitely, whatever is happening in the country is unfortunate as far as democracy is concerned. But at the same time, German foreign ministry has no business to interfere in the internal affairs. We are self-sufficient. We are empowered enough, and the country has its own inner dynamics to cope up with whatever challenges the uh, be it may the, the challenges to a democracy, be it may. Uh, authoritarianism or um, the autocratic rule okay. of the any government is Got concerned. Shazad, let me just at the moment right. we are talking about the British Shazad, government. let me just flip so, this entire argument by asking you one question before we wrap up this segment. In an interconnected world, what difference does it make if Rahul Gandhi is sitting in the United Kingdom and some and we are all sitting over here? Whatever he says over there is broadcast over here. Whatever he says over here will be broadcast over there as well, as well. So this entire insider, outsider, foreign, uh, Indian, how does it make a difference? It's not as if no, people it does outside make a the, difference. No, one it's second, I'm asking Shahzad this question. I mean, what he, what he says in this country, which is apparently acceptable, is being heard outside the country as well. It's, it's one large interconnected world. What difference does it make that he was outside when he made these remarks? Uh, Vishnu, the fundamental thrust of our objection was not on the location of the content of Rahul Gandhi, but on the content of Rahul Gandhi. And therefore, I said, whether he says it inside India or whether it's like Digvijay Singh inside India endorsing the intervention of a foreign power into our internal affairs or he says outside India, what he says and demands, that is the interference of a foreign power into our affairs, which is a challenge and attack on our sovereignty, on the will of the people, on parliament and in this particular case, an attack on the independence of the judiciary, that is offensive. It is not offensive whether he said it okay. abroad or not here. You, you, may, I, you may say something on your channel, it is watched in 150 countries, it will be broadcasted abroad. So that's point number one. Point number two, Vishnu, I urge you and I beseech you, don't pass this off as a one of these one more gaps of Digvijay saying made in the you know he's always prone to this no let me just point out one evidence this statement made by the German officials is calculated at creating contempt and undermining the majesty of our court system which is free and fair and everybody across the board including the most harshest critics of this government agreed to that and the chief justice of India himself but having said that, who has in the last few days been attacking the courts when the court convicted Rahul Gandhi? Wearing black clothes? Against whom are they wearing this? Against the court that convicted Rahul Gandhi? Are they trying to say the court is acting on the behest of the BJP? And when the Germans I, try to make that kind of a leap of faith... One second, la, la, last, sec, uh, last 10 seconds, Vishnu. When the Germans in their statement try to make that kind of an attack, Digvijay Singh from the Congress party validates it. This is an attack on our constitutionalism and on our judiciary, which is being validated, legitimized and propelled by the Congress Party's actions. And therefore, it is more egregious. It is not a one-off okay. rule chook of Digvijay Singh. This is actually the man ki baat and the soch of Rahul Gandhi. And therefore, no action is taken on Digvijay Singh because he's doing it at the behest of Rahul Gandhi. 
All right, look, I need to wrap this yeah. up, but let me just wrap can this I, up with I, one quote. Can I just look, get a minute? Mr. Bansal, I don't have time. I don't have time. I just want to refer to one point that uh, Shehzad spoke about. What exactly have the Germans said? To our knowledge, Mr. Gandhi is in a position to appeal the verdict, statement of fact. It will then become clear whether this verdict will stand and whether the suspension of his mandate has any basis. Simple statement. Uh, you know, I mean, I mean, this is what they've next said. Statement. Is it necessarily a no, no, challenge quote the to next the statement. majesty of, the of next our judicial, judicial system? No, Vishnu, quote the last statement. Vishnu, it will then the become third clear. Part of her statement. It will then I become clear you. whether ah, this no, verdict no, no, no. After will that, stand after and that. whether the suspension after of that. his mandate has any basis. I don't after have the that. Next, I don't have it with me right here. I, I'll, I'll read it out for you. I'll Go read ahead. it out for you. Yes. Please, I did not know you did not have the statement. I'll just give me 10 seconds to read it out. The, yeah. We expect that the stand, we meaning Germany, Germany expects that the standards of judicial independence and fundamental democratic principles will equally apply to the proceedings against Rahul Gandhi. Who are they to advise us? Did they take the stand they for the 32 other MPs, MLAs to. who were convicted on the they same law? It. Okay, fair enough. Fair who point. are they to expect it? Their Vishnu, democracy. I, I just... One second. That's my point. Vishnu, just 10 seconds. Please, uh, Vishnu, we are not trying to debate this. Let's have a civilized conversation. Let me complete. Vishnu, Germany's profile when it comes to democratic principles, their profile when it comes to racial tolerance, anti-Semitism is on a declining trend. They are on number one spot for many indicators that show decline of democracy. Even India would expect or be legitimate to expect a lot of okay. things. All right, Shazad, I'm interrupting. I need to wrap this up. I need to take a break. We do